Arm, the company, grew out of a British-based computer company called Acorn Computers. They are probably best known for producing the personal computers, the Acorn Archimedes and the BBC Model B microcomputer, both of which were based on Acorn's version of the RISC architecture. Arm originally stood for Acorn RISC Machine, but as the business grew and separated from the mother company, it was changed to stand for Advanced Risk Machine. In 1990, Arm moved from Acorn into a barn in the Cambridge countryside. And it's here in Cambridge, well known as a hub for leading technology companies, that the company's head office remains to this day. Since the formation of Arm, the company, the ARM architecture has been deployed in a range of devices. For example, in the 1990s, ARM was used in the personal digital assistants, such as Apple's Newton and the Palm Pilot. With the explosion in mobile telephony, ARM's big break came with the release of the Nokia 6110. And with its ARM processor extending the battery life, this revolutionised the mobile market. From then on, Arm has led the way in the mobile market sector. And as phones developed into smartphones, Arm IP extended beyond the CPU by powering connectivity such as Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. And then leading the field in smartphone graphics with Mali, the world's number one GPU architecture. The Arm architecture didn't just succeed in the mobile industry. Low power efficiency is strongly sought after in all areas of embedded computing. From automotive electronics to cutting edge smart devices. And this has led to ARM becoming the preferred choice in a wide range of markets and sectors. Today, to support the wide range of products, services and tools that we offer, and to have closer geographical links to our partners and customers, ARM has a global presence with locations all around the world.